Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews. In this video, I will show you guys the part 8 of the top 10 city tweaks compatible with iOS 10 up to iOS 10.2. So I hope you guys have been enjoying this series of videos. And if you want to see more of these videos, please make sure you leave a like and also subscribe to my channel. So let's go ahead and get started. Stealth Cam allows you to take pictures or videos with the screen off. So all you have to do is just open the camera app and now just lock your device and you can use the volume buttons you can use the volume buttons to take pictures as you can see it's taking pictures and just tap the home button to go back you can also start recording a video so you tap there to record you lock the screen now you can record the video and it's recording on the background you can see it was still recording this is pretty cool this tweak doesn't have any options to configure Movable 9. This tweak allows you to rearrange the items of the status bar. So all you have to do is just go to sort order right here and then here will have left, center, right, hidden and default. So you can just go ahead and drag one of the elements like this and it will rearrange it. So you can see here it will put the time on the left side and if you want to disable it completely you can just go ahead and put it here at hide and you can see the time is nowhere to be found. So you can do this with all the items on the status bar of your device and also once you make your own configuration you can go ahead and save it into profiles here so here i have one of the profiles that i have saved so just click here click yes and now it will change the look of the status bar to that profile always touch id this tweak allows you to use your touch id to unlock your device anytime even when it's not enabled so you can see here Unlock iPhone with Touch ID is not enabled. Also, I don't have a passcode set on my device. So you can see here, I can just simply go ahead and unlock my device like this. It's not locked with a passcode or with Touch ID, but you can see here, I can still use the Touch ID to unlock my device. Car date. This is a pretty awesome tweak which will replace the carrier name with the current date on the status bar. So you can see right here on the left side of the status bar, instead of having the carrier name, I have the cur current date and this is way more useful than having the carrier name there. Round Switcher. This tweak customizes the look of the app cards on the app switcher. So you can see here, you can change the corner radius of the app cards. To do that, you go to the settings of this tweak, enable it here, and then you have this slider right here, which allows you to adjust the roundness of the app cards on the app switcher. Blue Board. This tweak will enable a system-wide blue keyboard. So everywhere you go on your device, on the spotlight search here, on the apps, anywhere you will have that blue keyboard. If you jump to the settings of this tweak, you will have an enable button and also you can use a black keyboard, just enable it right here and then respring the device for the changes to take effect. Clean Notifications. This tweak will customize the look of the notifications and also the widgets on the lock screen of your device as well as on the home screen so you can see how they look here a much nicer flatter look so you can see this is the stock one you can see how they look on stock ios 10 and this is with clean notifications die this tweak allows you to customize the navigation bars and the blur of your device so you can see here at the top and at the bottom here at the bars i have a green color and also red buttons which look pretty cool but you can change that to any color you want simply by going to the settings of this tweak and here we have this tweak called dye you have an enable button here then you have here the blur color so this changes the blur color of your device anywhere system wide on your device and then you have the navigation tint color right here so you go to one of them and just pick any color that you want you can also choose here blacklisted apps so if you don't want to apply this tweak to any of your apps you can just come here and enable the switches for any of the apps not a tinter this tweak will tint the notifications on the lock screen with a slight color based on the color of the app's icon so here i have notifications from twitter and they will have a nice blue tint nuke cc night shift if you're like me and you never use night shift you don't want to see that button on your control center you can go ahead and use nuke cc night shift what it does is that it completely removes that button from the control center so that's it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed the tweaks for more videos like this make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and also go ahead and follow me on my social media you will find all the links in the description of the video